sticks and stones may break my bones, but your words will never harm me. Whoever said that, because that is so not true. Words have had a way of getting to me more than any beating code. Even right now, I can recall multiple times that someone said something to me and it hurt me so much that I started to cry. Sometimes what they said would ring in my head for days, even weeks. And even worse, I would start to believe that it was true. But now that hardly happens anymore. What changed? my eyes of course i don't mean my literal eyes what's changed is how i now see people how i now view things and how i interpret situations i wasn't exactly a popular kid in high school in every school there are those that are popular or cool and then there are those that are not and while i wouldn't say i was at the bottom of the barrel I definitely wasn't popular. And so let's say one of these popular people spoke to me in a way that I did not like. I remember how I would feel like, oh, this person is speaking to me like this because I'm not part of their clique. And that started to have an effect on my self-esteem because I began to believe that every negative reaction I got from someone was due to a fault that was inherently mine, even when that wasn't necessarily the case. In retrospect, I've realized that the issue wasn't so much that I wasn't a cool kid, but more about the fact that I simply wasn't secure in myself as a person. I wasn't confident in how I looked, in who I was, and some other things that I can't even remember now. So if someone spoke to me or acted towards me in a way that I did not like, I would internalize that anger. But at the same time, I would also feel like I deserve to be treated that way. And I know that sounds contradictory, but that's just how my brain worked. So I won't feel pleased with how this person talked. But at the same time, that voice in my head would tell me that that was how I deserve to be treated. exactly when it happened but over the course of the past few years there's been a shift in my mindset i guess as i started to grow in the consciousness of who i am as a child of god i stopped letting how others perceived me to define me so because i now knew my worth, it wasn't so easy for me to be swayed by how others saw me or perceived me i would say that the best way to develop a good self-esteem or at least what worked for me is to really understand who you are in Christ. You can't know, like really understand who you are in Christ and still feel like you're not worth much. Jesus literally had to die to pay the price for your salvation. How can you ever see yourself as little? And it was after that that I started to realize that a lot of times the reason why people spoke to me the way they did wasn't even necessarily because of how they perceived me. Look, sometimes we have to be honest with ourselves. The world does not revolve around you. People aren't always in a competition with you or in a bid to prove a point to you. I'm not saying that that doesn't happen sometimes, but of course, it can't be every time. The reason why that person didn't greet you while you were passing wasn't because they did not feel you are important enough to be greeted. Maybe they just didn't see you. The reason why they called you a bad name is not because they don't like you, but maybe they just had a really bad day and now they are just passing aggression to everyone they come across. Not that I'm validating their actions, but that's just what it is. So let's say I'm speaking to someone and this person reacts to me rudely. Before, my first thought would have been, oh, this person is reacting this way because it's me. I'm sure if it was someone else, they would have probably reacted to them in a nicer way. But now, if something like that happens, my first thought is, oh, maybe this person is in a bad mood right now, or maybe they had a stressful day, or maybe they are just plain rude. But whatever it is, it is a them issue, not a me issue. I am not the problem. And while I can't control how others behave towards me, I can very well determine how I react to it. But that mindset shift was so powerful because something that someone would have said or did that would have totally ruined the rest of my day before could happen now and I would just be like, okay, 
So people's behavior towards me didn't necessarily change. But that change that happened on the inside of me made me less concerned about what they say or what they do. And if you think about it, letting something that someone said out of anger or plain carelessness ruin your day is basically giving that person the power to control you. Why would you do that to yourself? Really, it doesn't even make sense for you to get so weighed down by what someone said or did that they can't even remember 10 minutes later. You know how they say life is 10% of what happens to you and 90% of how you react to it? Yeah, I think they were right about that one. Whoa.